What's up, guys? You already know what it is, man. My name is JB Demogu, and this is Demogu View, where I keep it real, keep it 100. Everything that comes out of my mouth is the truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. Please, if today's your first time watching me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right? So let's get straight to the point. I'm here to speak my mind on the statement Bujibantan, the legendary reggae musician made about Afrobeats. To be honest, I am very upset. Very, very, very upset. Even though I understand where he's coming from, I just felt like he didn't have to speak about Afrobeats in that manner. You see, for the greater good, I don't think he should have spoken like that about Afrobeats. If he was granted an interview on an African platform and he felt the need that he needed to let us know that we are not singing about important stuff. I would take it. But for you to go and sit on an American platform and to disrespect a genre coming from the continent that you originate from, that is very unfortunate, very wrong for a legendary musician to make that statement. Now, what statement did he make? He said that basically Afrobeats doesn't really have a message. He said it's forkery. He feels like, okay, everybody's chasing the money. What is going to be the story years later about Afrobeats? Like I said, I understand where he's coming from and I will try and put myself in his shoes. But before I do that, let's try and understand is that Afrobeat is a genre. Every genre has what they basically mostly talk about. For example, when reggae came out, during the era in which it came out, they were talking about liberation and oppression. So they were motivated by what they were going through. In every genre, in every topic that you want to discuss, if you don't live that life, you cannot talk about it. You will not be motivated. You need to live it. Now, dance hall does not talk about uplifting. Dance hall is another dance genre that sings about either love, dancing or street stuff so for you to make a statement about afrobeat like that is all the genre everyone is doing in africa it's wrong we have so many different types of genre in africa that have not made it to the world that you buju probably haven't heard of so for you to make a statement like afro beats is all all africans are making or doing that is wrong we have reggae and we have dancehall reggae sings about uplifting liberation oppression topics dancehall doesn't so can i come out and say dancehall is forkery can I come out and say that dancehall doesn't have a message? When you come to Ghana, we have high life songs. We have great artists like Bisakede or, and other people singing about life issues, problems that people are going through. And people can only sing about what they are going through. They cannot make it up because it will not even be organic. Now, he gave credit to legends like Fela and other legendary musicians coming from Africa. But you have to understand that the time Fela and them were making those songs, the message they had for the people, they were motivated to give that message because that's what they were going through at that time. That's what Fela was going through. Now, fast forward. 
what are Africans going through? The problem is that we have most, a lot of Africans have never even been to the slave castles. Like a lot of Ghanaians have never even been to the slave castles in Ghana. They don't even know, they lack the history of the whole uh, the colonial masters coming to Ghana to colonize most of African, uh, some of the African countries. African musicians, some of them don't know. Very few of them are that conscious. And one thing you need to also understand is that the people who are doing the music, they need money to push the music. And right now, it's like pop music is what's selling. So definitely, the message they will be giving out, majority of them will be giving out, is songs that makes them feel good. Feel good songs. And you cannot blame them. We have musicians like Manifest. We have musicians, so many other musicians, who are making very conscious music. But guess what? They are not going anywhere. Like Common Sense from America. Common Sense is as good or even better than Jay-Z. But his music is not cutting across because of his subject matter. And like I said, Africans, the new crop of people, they are not filled with the history. And at the same time, they are not motivated about what transpired. They don't even know the history. So how can they sing about something that they don't know? They are not being taught in school. Some Africans don't even know what transpired when our people, the black Americans, went to America. They don't know these things. So all they can sing about is what they know, which is love songs, dance. You know Africans love to dance. So Buju, you cannot blame us. The people are only singing what they know. What your people went through is what you guys are singing about. The new crop of reggae artists, when you listen to them, they may not even sound real or organic like you guys did. Because they never lived it. But for you to say that Afrobeat is fuckery and has no message, I don't agree. Because Afrobeat is just one genre. Afrobeat is just one genre. We have different genres that people are doing. Uh, and they have great message for the people. But they are not making it to the limelight like Afrobeat has. So please, you can't make such a statement about an African genre. I feel like for the greater good, that statement shouldn't have been made on that platform. Now let me put myself in Buju's shoes. Buju feels like he is coming from an era where the people have been oppressed. The people have gone through so much. So we need to sing about liberation, uplifting songs that will conscientize the people for them to know where we are heading and for them to be aware of what is out there. Basically, what he's saying is that we shouldn't just chase the money. If we chase the money, we will be surprised about the stories that they will write about Afrobeats, which I understand. So from the angle he is coming from, I totally understand him. But the way he went about it, the way he disrespected the genre, that was wrong. That was wrong. It will be, vo it will be very wrong for me to come out and say, dancehall has no message. Dancehall is all about grinding and, and, and dancing and, and talking about street stuff. That would be wrong. It would be wrong for me to come out and say hip-hop is all about killing and, and taking drugs. And meanwhile, we have artists like Talib Kweli. We had artists like, uh, what do you call it, uh, Common Sense. We had so many great artists that gave good message. Lauryn Hill. So, it is very wrong for you to 
make such a statement. But I understand where you were coming from. You just trying to let people know that we need to talk about varieties of, of our message needs to be filled with different types of messages from all over. The, the struggles that we are going through, the oppression, I mean, the, 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 the way our leaders are misleading us. Maybe we need to be singing about those things. I understand. But my brother, it was wrong for you to make such a statement about Afrobeat. That's my two cents, guys. My name is JB Demogo, and this is Demogo View. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? Have a wonderful day. Peace.